Today I'm talking about uh, Newtonian law, the test of Newtonian law. And Newtonian law is uh, exists for a long time. But uh, the Newtonian law, the Newtonian law is Newtonian law at present is not that true enough to be test. The reason is gravity actually <coughs> is a composite effect has many effects beyond <coughs> many effects beyond the mass. So today I'm talking about uh, from Einstein on what has been progress in terms of gravitation. Uh, Newton's inverse law is the oldest standing mathematic description of a fundamental induction. However, Newton Einstein failed to explain the anomaly of space pop and flyby. Moreover, they failed to explain the explain on the weight reduction of a charged metal ball. A charge capacity heat up. A charge heat up. Uh, what? metal, and this shows E equal m c squared is wrong. It's not correct. That experience of proof Einstein's law. Okay? And I can't see. Uh, this, to show this weight reduction is not due to mass reduction, we can measure the acceleration of neutral object in a free form. In other words, remember we we can test uh, Galileo and also prove Galileo is imperfect because there are exceptions in Galileo's case. Um, we have shown that accuracy a lot of Newton's law is related to the unification of gravitation and induction. That includes the charge mass induction and the current mass interaction. In other words, the, the gravitation we learn is a, a combination of the Newton's law and also the charge mass interaction. That's why it's not possible to test uh, Newton's law at the present moment. So, thus to have an accurate test of this law, we must understand Einstein unification and exactly how the temperature affects the measurement of the weight. However, Einstein and his fail failed to show the need of unification due to an inadequate understanding in law medium mathematics and physics. Einstein also wrong in physics, not only in mathematics. This leads to the overlooking the need of unification in general activity. It should be pointed out also that for accurate Newtonian gravity constant, Roger, that's a Chinese uh, experimentalist, uh, he came to have the most accurate uh, uh, Newtonian content, but this is not possible. You know why? Because the, me the way measure Newtonian current is temperature dependent. So th that's end of the most accurate uh, Newtonian law. So um, how do we go there? And 
So the big T cannot be halted. Now I explain, uh, explain why why is uh, such a problem. I explain why is the problem. The first of all, you have to uh, deal with Einstein's equation. Everybody knows Einstein didn't get Nobel Prize because of generativity. Why? Because his equation is not right. Why is it not right? Because the equation has no dynamic solution. And he, Einstein thought he got a dynamic solution. That was wrong. Because his mathematics is not, not good enough. It's more as that. And so who, who found that out? Not me. Gershon, the chairman of the Nobel Prize Committee of Indian Physics, on our Einstein's calculator, cannot be derived from the approach of many body problem. Because the perihelion of Mercury has to calculate from a, a perturbation approach. And Einstein's calculation cannot be due to many body problems. So that's, that is why Gaston said he, he possible wrong. The ironically, Einstein's confidence on generality is based on his calculation on the perihelion is correct. So he's based on, uh, uh, his confidence and actually based on something wrong on this thing. Uh, so, so after that, he, uh, he, he said there's an equation, of course, Einstein has a followers and believe he's right. Then you will you, see the book by Wiesler, Fawn, Fawn and Wheeler. This book is that thing, but the full of mistakes in mathematics. And the mistake is in at what level? An undergrad level. That's what is the problem is the whole American physical society for them. That's the problem. Now, he said this equation, he have a solution that he has solved the equation and um, and he said so you can have have the have the solution, but this is impossible. This is mathematically impossible. This is not a very complicated mathematic. It's undergrad level. That's the point. And this one, this one, Einstein proof. He can prove this thing with uh, with a solution, with a, a linearized equation. Get it? Get the linearized equation. Now, that means the linearized equation and the non-linear equation are not compatible. They are not compatible. So what is basic wrong of a nowadays the relativity system so called expert is they don't know that Einstein equation, linearized equality Einstein equation for the dynamic case is not correct mathematically. That's why they get all the screw up. And uh, on top of that, uh, the Miller school, and there's another war, was that he got a solution for the second order. And he said yes, but he never gave an example. So war is, can be something he cannot support. That's very simple. Now, and then comes the, another one, the so-called Christian Tulu, and uh, Kraliman, they say they have a contract the a found the solution. I I chat with them. And you know Christian Guru and who's a who's a PT advisor is is Willa. Willa is not good even in undergrad mathematics. You can imagine how good his thesis is. Now you yeah, assume there's a Initial uh, data set and a similar thread, all that, assume that initial set. But the initial set, you, you, you have to prove the existence. They didn't prove it, they say it exists. And also, their calculation, 
is inconsistent with the linearized equation of result. So, question two rule is basically wrong. And I'm not the only one saying wrong. Miller, Miller say, Miller say, very politely say, his theory is not understandable. In answer, it's all garbage. <laughs> but say politely, and also, why he can get past? Because this prison do is come from Princeton. Princeton is not supposed to be wrong. And by the way, don't, uh, don't say Princeton wrong. I am the, uh, my, my teacher teach me my method also from Princeton, but this one is not right. Okay, so so another question: Would the Einstein equation can produce a dynamic solution? Yes. Who, who said that? Because Lawrence Lamy, they said that. They, they have this equation, they prove that. But Einstein disagree because Einstein find from his equation the tenure lift should be equal to zero. But now we know Einstein is wrong. Uh, another thing is Einstein's equation is not consistent, it's not consistent with E M C squared. Because in E over MC square uh, is not consistent with Einstein's equation because the, the energy movement tensor of, um, of electromagnetic, electromagnetic energy movement tensor has a trace equal to zero. Therefore, the energy movement tensor of the uh, electromagnetic field cannot affect the curvature R. But we everybody knows that um, the curvature R can be affected the mass. So Einstein theory is not self-consistent in this sense. His two major theories, E of M C squared and his field equation are not consistent. He didn't even know that. Okay. Now there's another problem. That there's not the not the not the all the problem, there's another problem. Einstein said, if you want to calculate the gravity due to the electromagnetic wave, so all you do is just do the Einstein equation. I did that. And find out there's no solution on that. <laughs> there's no solution on that. You, you, you can do it yourself. There's no solution. So what you, you need a solution, you need to put like, any more tensor of the photon there, that is that means general relativity also implies the existence of photon. If you don't have photon, if photon is actually a consequence of general relativity. That is Einstein didn't know that. Um, okay. Okay, now they come to Penrose. Uh, the Penrose uh, have a very famous uh, singularity theorem. What he also one the argument he argued with uh, Lipschitz. Um, Lipschitz says no singularity. He said yes. So if what happened? Lipschitz said yeah, you're right. Uh, the singularity. Both of them has a problem because the problem is not in mathematics; it's in physics. The assumption is wrong. The assumption is they show, they believe that Einstein equation, all the coupling constants should have the same sign, and that was wrong. So that is the Hawking. So Hawking's theorem, a singular theorem, has nothing to do with physics because it is not very assumption, based not very assumption. So Hawking's achievement, in my opinion, is basically zero in physics. Okay, the Hawking and Penrose. Um, um, 
Now, Hawking, the error of Hawking and Penrose is that free source. One accepted Einstein's speculation generally as a is valid for E equals M square. E, inadequate understanding of the non-Indian mathematics. Three, inadequate understanding of the principle of causality. That is the, uh, the, the mistake. So, so in other words, general, general is full of mistakes and uh, uh, current, 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 current. Uh, and also, there's another guy called uh, Yao and uh, Yao and Witten. Witten is the, the the high priest of the advanced study, and they 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 prove the uh, energy momentum <coughs> theorem, and they call wrong. That's right. And they use the the definition of Anno Fischer and Fischer. The problem is Anno Miller Fischer. His definition is not right because according to his definition, there's no dynamic solution. In other words, his definition can only deal with no dynamic case. So, so in other words, Yao approved a theorem which is only applicable for the for uh, for a a static solution, and he said it's general true. So the problem is some mathematicians they try to have the general physics, but they don't understand physics. So they they make the thing even worse. So that's what happened to them. And and on top of that, that's why there's so many problems in general relativity. People don't understand general relativity, they start to mess up. For instance, Adia and Fedeyev, those two guys, you want, he's in charge of the fuse metal. They give the fuse metal to Yao and Witten. You know why? Because they don't have that general activity. So, so these two, these two gentlemen, because of their metal, they came to an expert of general activity and everybody say quoting him. So what were his answers? Okay. So uh, so that is the all the problems basically um, many of the all the all the problems he has he has uh, now they talk about Einstein's equation uh, is the end Einstein anything right? Uh, yes, it's right. Einstein's equation is right for the static case. Dynamic is all wrong. It's the other case. For the static case, he, one of the famous solutions is Wiesel Nostrum metric on this one. And from this metric, we find out the repulse gravitation here. Find out. And Einstein didn't believe it. Do you know why? Because he believed in ego mc square. <laughs> so he rejected that. So it could have been his credibility, but he rejected it. So it became mine. So, so Einstein did that. Of course, there's some people uh, try to help Einstein to <coughs> say, okay, the end will including the uh, electromagnetic energy of the of the charge. Therefore, um, in this uh, equation, there's no repulsive uh, gravitation because uh, they, they all cancel out. But the one problem, the problem is the Russian do an experiment. They have two metal balls. Exactly the same way, the same thing. And they charge it with mass, with electron. Electron. What happened? The one charge with electron is become lighter. So in other words, there are repulsive gravitation. The experiment proven. Okay? Now, and also another one is this, this term has the This have the very interesting thing. 
this term, now we, we have from a, a charged particle, we have a field, and then we calculate and we get the we get the we get the um, the, the force on that. This is the repulsive force. Now we know that um, action and reaction are the same. So if two, these two part two part you are, are stand still, one is charged, one has no charge, and what happened? You see. Now from from the the field generated by the charged particle, we have that. But from a field, from a action interaction, you have that exactly the same, except different direction. Now the problem is, if you generate, get a field generated by the mass m, then you get the first term, you don't have the second term. So in other words, general stability is not self-contained. You cannot, because this term, there's no, no theory in four-dimensional theory can have a coupling of Q squared. There's no such a coupling. Since there's no such a coupling, that means generality what? Generality must be extended, and this is extended. So, so generality will lead to its own extension. It's not something you want it or not. It's something you have to, just like electromagnetic theory, lead to the modification, lead to the garbage, uh, the, the electromagnetic wave. And generativity also generates something, lead to the modification of generativity. That is, a, that is a, the, the charge mass interaction is. And uh, another one is uh, attractive current mass interaction. Uh, that's interesting is if you have a, you have a capacity to charge it, and what you find out, the capacity will be lighter to measure. So why? Because there's no no change in the capacitor except the arrangement of the of the, the charge is different. So what what happened? What happened is. When you charge the capacitor, the, the electron concentrate. When they concentrate, they create a, a repulse force. And those electrons, before they concentrate, they are orbital, they are orbital electron. The orbital electron will have a current, but the current, according to general theory, current and the mass and the mass has an attractive force. So in other words, those orbital thing is attractive force, they cancel out the repulsive force, so everybody say, well, fine, there's nothing happen. But if you uh, try to uh, concentrate and get a, get a, get a, a charge capacitor, now the concentrating and the repul the, the orbital uh, attractive force become repulsive force. So you have a repulse force from a charge capacitor. Charge capacitor. That's why. And um, okay. So so that's the charge capacitor. And uh, now you talk about Einstein unification. Unification is. <coughs> And five dimension theory, according to Caruso, they only the, the five dimension have only four variables. So it doesn't count. It, it doesn't it, it create missed all the good things. So <coughs> in the five dimension theory in Caruso, this term is there, but this term is not there, there so this term is not there. But because the five dimensional theory is on this term, then this is related to the charge. And this tiny radio charge, so there's an interaction of uh, charge square in the five dimensional theory. So in other words, if you want to create the repulsive force, you have to get into five dimensional theory. So that that and uh, now is uh, is the fundamental theory correct? Uh, that is according to experiment. Experiment shows you uh, 
you, you have a charge capacitor, you have a repulsive force. So this force cannot be expanded in four-dimensional theory. Therefore, what what happened? The American physical theory, they rejected the mass field experiment, doing wrong experiment. They forgot. Physics is based on experience, not based on theory. They cannot expand it, so their voice is wrong. So that's, that's what's wrong of the American physical society. They, they forgot. Experience is based on physics, not theory. Okay, so this one has a have 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 the have the charge mass interaction and uh, see uh, this one can be uh, in terms of five dimensional theory and get all that and and so in other words, the five dimensional theory can accommodate the uh, repulsive gravitation. And uh, oh, some application. Uh, the another problem is I, I, I said that the Einstein equation uh, theory cannot expand the anomaly of uh, of uh, NASA. Okay, the anomalies can be expanded in the five dimensional theory because what happened is the sun actually not only give attractive force, also give a weak repulsive force. And the repulsive force is one who are killed. Therefore, in, in the close, in the close orbit, the thing is smaller, so you neglect, you don't, you don't see it. But if you have an open orbit, when you go very far, far away, the R kill make the thing, make the other thing, diminish very fast. So it appears that when you go far away, the the repul the, the attractive increase, but the repulsive will decrease faster. So that that is the the, the one of the thing I uh, uh, can explain in the in the five in the in the repulsive gravitation. And uh, so what actually happened is this one is the, the sun and this one one is the, the repulsive force and this one is, is the sun or something. So when when the thing go far away the thing disappears. Okay, the pre-pressure. Now it's got the conclusion. The conclusion is a deeper reason Einstein's problem is he he uh, he doesn't he reject repulsive gravitation. Yeah. He he can be more successful in his theory by admitting repulsive gravitation, but he believes in zero m c squared. Therefore, he reject repulsive gravitation. The most uh, interesting part of his theory. And uh, and the principle of causality also means all the solution has to be bounded. And people say, oh, I can have unbounded. But when you you have to calculate the gravitation radiation, the gravitation radiation, the solution has to be bounded to get it. So if you accept the unbounded solution, does it help you to get the gravitation law? The, the gravitation um, uh, wave, the problem of gravitation wave. Okay, so so that is uh, now now. In conclusion, is generally. Einstein is a great physicist, and, uh, but uh, as anybody great, also has the shortcomings. So Einstein's shortcoming is he didn't see the repulsive gravitation. That's why. Um, uh, 
Somebody say you're lucky. Einstein can see, so he can see. You I didn't see, what can you see? <laughs> so then, that, I have nothing to say about this. And um, one of the problem is, is April about medium mathematics as incorrect relief, the effective only for a large scale. The nonlinear mathematics is the general problem of all the physics. In fact, none of the physics, as, as far as I know, understand nonlinear mathematics. Therefore, generally have full mistakes because they screw up in nonlinear mathematics. Uh, so, Einstein believed increment of energy would increase the gravitation and tension. However, experimentally, a charge capacitor is lighter. A charge capacitor, both positive and the negative charge, are concentrated, and thus an effect of the repulse force would be observed as a lighter way of the charge capacitor. The case of a heat of metal are also examples that show the experiment Fundamentally, the invariant of Einstein's prediction. They revealed a major error of Einstein's theory is due to overlooking the repulsive gravitation. That's that's Einstein's main fault. And uh, since the since the electromagnetic is not equal to mass. The physical picture provided by Newton is just so simple for phenomena as complicated as gravitation, relate, which relate to everything. Einstein is very failed because they are overconfident due to that they not only do not understand nonlinear mathematics, but also ignore experiment. They don't do experiment. They, 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 thought they can think of everything true. That's the problem. Thus, Einstein follow the over advocate their own error but do not want to read paper beyond their circle. Physically, Einstein failed in education because he is not like Maxwell. Understand, a unification requires a new interaction. So that's why Einstein is behind in Maxwell on this. So, and then finally, it's about the experimentalism. The Mr. Law, Mr. Law in, uh, in China, he came here at the most accurate uh, gravitational constant. Of course, it's not, not true because it's impossible. Because gravitation, they, the way we measure it, it depends on the gravity, on the, on, on, on the temperature. Now, and there's uh, something progress in, in, in this thing is. Right now, uh, I and uh, Colin is doing an experiment to test the repulse gravitation in a very clean way. That is to use the torsion balance uh, scale to measure guidance. And what we find out is if you uh, increase the temperature of the big ball and the gravity will be reduced. And we get the the temperature lower, then the gravity will be increased. And this experiment is not expensive, and uh, you can, everyone here can afford to do it. <laughs> so, so, so there's a, there's no secret on, on on this thing. Just, just go home and do the experiment. So, now what I'm saying is, uh, Einstein's great, but a great man is not coming. Our job is to mend his problem. Not to, uh, not to uh, what? Just and my Einstein's great, Einstein's great, and fall into all the all the mistakes he has made. Thank you very much. Any question? Now we can go to lunch, and we start again at uh, ten minutes to uh, three p.m.